If you're headed out to the Royals game today, like thousands of others, and you want to tailgate, you know the problem we often go through, a lot of mm -hmm. trash. Matt Riggs with Mark's Solid Waste Management is joining us now to talk about a priority for the environment. Of course, we're talking recycling. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't recycle. They just throw it away at the tailgate parties, right? Right. How, how to get us in the mindset here? What do we need to be doing? Well, I think what people need to realize is that we each create about seven pounds of trash per day, which <sighs> equals over a ton per year. That's a lot. That's a lot of trash. Yeah. That's a lot of resources that get wasted, a lot of pollution that happens because of that. So we need to be more mindful mm -hmm. and recycle more. And the great thing is, right here in Kansas City, Missouri, uh, you can recycle, reuse, and compost almost everything that goes in your trash. Really? So if people went to the effort to do that, we could actually keep most of what we put out of the trash out of the trash. And recycling. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the stuff you see, party right. trays, you know, containers, things like right. that. So tell us, you know, we just bring one of these to the, the game, is that kind of the deal, or a box or something? Yeah, we, however you want to recycle at your tailgate yeah. party. Um, uh, this is a Kansas City, Missouri curbside bin, but okay. everybody, you know, most people in the metro area have access to curbside recycling. Okay. Almost everybody has access to a drop-off recycling center. Mm -hmm. So however you want to store it is, is up to you, but um, so like for instance, plastics, number one through seven, and that's any kind of containers can be recycled right here in the metro area. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's, you know, peanut containers, containers, chip containers, deli trays, if you get deli trays, all your, all your plastic water and soda bottles can all be recycled. Um, and then we have items like cans, you know, yeah. soda, beer, all that, all the cans can be recycled. If you're fixing any kind of dip or anything with uh, tin cans, you can recycle those. Mm -hmm. Of course, any cardboard snack boxes can all be recycled. Um, if you order anything in from a deli, Pizza boxes are a big thing. A lot of people order pizza. So let me ask you about this. Uh, yeah. A lot of pizza boxes stained with grease. Uh huh. Big problem with food stains, that type of yeah, stuff? Yeah, basically, they don't, you don't want to put any food or beverages in your recycling bin because that ruins everything. Right. So the way to deal with this is if you have a, a backyard compost bin, okay. you can compost the entire box because it's uh, paper and paper rots. Gotcha, yeah. If you don't, you can cut it in half and recycle the top and throw away the bottom. I see. But so either you, way, you it's, it. I mean, it's, right. it's still much yeah. better than just throwing the whole thing right. away. Right, right. Gotcha. Um, so, and then uh, these items here, they don't go in your curbside bin or your drop-off facility, or, or some drop-off facilities don't take them, but they are recyclable in the metro area. So glass, yeah, uh, wine bottles, beer bottles, pickle jars, mm -hmm. dip jars. All those clear brown and green glass can all be taken to the big purple ripple glass bins around yeah. town. So you don't throw away any of the uh, aluminum foil. So a lot of trays, serving trays, trays that yep. kind of stuff. Make just clean it out, and then that can be recycled at a scrap metal bin. Yeah. Um, a lot of people have lots of bags, so yeah. like bun bags, bread bags, shopping bags. Um, those can't go in your curbside or drop off recycling center, gotcha. but. Most of your major stores, like your major grocery Drop stores or big box stores, have a box out front in our barrel out in the front area where you can put that. Gotcha. And then um, let me let me uh, we gotta we gotta get over to weather here to check in with Jeff. Uh, but most of this stuff is recycling and just takes mm -hmm. a little bit of forethought. That's right. the key here. Right. We're, and we're trying to get people to go to our website, recyclespot.org. Mm -hmm. um, at that website, it shows everything we just talked about, uh, plus compost, plus hazardous waste. You can even recycle your old briquettes and and uh, lighter fluid at a hazardous waste facility. Uh -huh. Thank you so much.